Right, this is an addendum because uh, I modified the circuit to that where we're just using a very simple output circuit driving a very simple driver circuit and then we've got that and the thermistor side there. Okay. We're using a 1k for the low side on the thermistor, that's actually a 10, I used to say it, but there you go, it doesn't really matter. We've got a 2, it's actually a 220. Correctly. Uh -huh. so that's a 220. And 547, just Q1, move the mouse out of the way. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it, exactly. Except we've got like that's a 220, but it's using four resistors to make it. Otherwise, pretty much exactly the same. There we go. And so we've got it working here. There I've got the 220 and the 100 there's the 100 there and this is the 220 output this is coming in from the Arduino and then we're bridging this across with this wire here to the input and that's going to the base of the PC547 base right, and then the emitter and collector circuit is very straightforward and of course we've got our um, circuit here with the that's what it is is a series parallel circuit so we've got <coughs> two pairs in parallel connected in series to give it the same 220 but the half watt instead of quarter yeah, it's working and we've got pretty much i think the similar switching on time yeah about 10 10 microseconds the off time is actually better now but i expect that because of the um, the off time is better because we're switching the transistor harder so we've got one microsecond per division you can see that's actually within two microseconds that's like about 1.6 microseconds now is the off time and that's to be expected because we're actually using a higher current into the base and uh, we're switching the transistor off harder as well so it's coming on from being more off as if it were so we're feeding that transistor with more current which means this should switch off quicker and of course it is and so that circuits uh, a, a, a faster switching time than the original which I think was about four microseconds originally yeah so it's very good and it works and it's quite straightforward and I'm just showing you that just so you can see yeah and that will result in better temperatures, not much better because the main problem with the temperature was the fact that I was running it, uh, running the current through it. I don't know what current it is, it's not going to be much less than an amp I would assume. Yeah. But, yeah, there you go. So it is working. And that the reason why it's important that that works is because um, that's the one that I simulated here, although I haven't got this... Uh, current amplifier arrangement it's just these two here with that transistor there and then from here we're taking it directly into the gate with a uh, 220 here instead of a 10k we've got there so we can use this current amplifier arrangement to enhance the circuit so that we don't need to have high currents flowing down this path here through this transistor and as you can see that gives very good switching times of course uh, the time I expanded these and the times is obviously you know sub microsecond easy <coughs> these uh, scales are not showing that and uh, that circuit's been superseded so I'm going to replace that diagram that's it